I would like to share a personal experience that has opened my eyes and mind, and maybe we'll do the same for you as well. When I still lived in Delft, I realized that small community, communities do actually resemble the actual world. And in this period, I lived with over 27 different roommates, and they were all different. You had the surfer dudes, you had soccer players, you had serious types. Obviously, there were also the drinking types. But one, one guy, and he was above all creative. And I would like to ask you to close your eyes and visualize what this guy would look like. He was, he was the kind of guy who would, he was always late, but he was the guy who you really want to have around you, but it's impossible to get an appointment with. And he was the guy who could really surprise you with completely out-of-the-box solutions or answers. But above all, he had so many cool talents. He could paint, making drawings, and a lot of stuff. But he was, above all, he was an artist. And probably most of you will have someone around you who is like a person I just subscribed. But this guy, with all his talents, there was one thing he wasn't really good at. He couldn't sell himself. Actually, he would hate it to sell himself. And that's one thing artists, a lot of artists have in common. They hate to sell their own art. And to make it even more ridiculous, if an artist is really good in selling his own art, he becomes commercial. And a commercial artist is almost something like a curse word. So artists, they hate to sell art, but their own art. But without selling their own art, they will never become a professional or even better, a famous artist during their own life. And I think in this 21st century, it would be a shame. So there are galleries and museums who are presenting these artists, but still a lot of them have problems reaching out to all those potential art lovers. So there appears to be a gap. And like most gaps, uh, this one exists of two sides. On the one hand, art can be something scary. For a lot of people, art can be scary and difficult to understand. A lot of people will have feelings that, that it's, it, it will take a lifetime to develop your own art taste or to to understand it, so it's why even bother? Or it can, sometimes it can be difficult to understand because what's so arty about a floor full with peanut butter? Or some galleries, if you walk by them, you see they're not really that inviting to go in because it's a white, clean box with probably very expensive art hanging on the wall, shares people behind the desk, the professional, so uh, I'd rather not go in. So on one hand, art is something scary. And on the other side, I think the art professionals are, are a bit stuck in their old-fashioned ways. Actually, art, the art world is a conservative market. And it's not that strange, because museums are in a business to conserve their art. They want to conserve a Van Gogh as long as possible. And a gallery owner, he's in business of selling you for us, that timeless piece of art. You have to pay a lot of money for it. You will hang it on your wall. You have to enjoy it for a long time because you spend a lot of money. And hopefully one day your grandchildren will thank you for buying that piece of art. So there appears to be a gap. And I think this is a very interesting problem. Yes, of course, the reopening of the Stalik Museum and the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam, that definitely gave a boost. And also, there are so many interesting art events organized around the year. But do you know what the problem is? First of all, always, you'll always see the same faces. When you go to those events, you'll always see the same faces. Art galleries, the owners, there are some who do really well. They make a lot of money, but they have the tendency to rely on their own safe network. They already know the right people, if they have an art piece. They know exactly who to call, so they're not even that interested in reaching out to more people. And another thing, again, art events can be scary for someone who, has n who doesn't know anything about art. Why would you go to an event where everybody would know so much about art, and they will talk about art, so why would you go there? So, 
I think that that's, that's, that this is this is this gap, and we have to close it, but make it smaller. But the solution is not that hard, I think. But there are some things we have to do. I think we have to, or the galleries, and they have to improve their online presentation. And there are some ways how we can do it. First of all, start making it easy, understandable videos about a cool art project or an artist doing something really nice or an exhibition. Make it, make it fun and make it interesting and easy for people to understand. There are so many fun ways how we can present art online. A friend of mine, he came up with something very easy. Um, with the telephone, with your smartphone, for example, people who like to walk around in forest, you could use layers to present art pieces or installations on trees and maybe someone explaining about it with a video or just audio or with, with fun information. And then you're walking around and you can see, you can learn it. And it's in an easy, easy way and in a safe environment. You start on your own, but make it simple, make it easy. Also, in galleries and museums, I think they should start using social media, obviously, but in a smart and interesting way, so that people who are going actually can connect their own network into their world. So they can show the people what they've learned, of what they've seen. And I think that the galleries and museums, they should not be afraid of showing too much, because the real deal is always better, but we have to start somewhere. Um, um, <laughs> yeah, so what I said, we have to start somewhere. And, um, but it, it would be such a waste not to reach out to those other people, because everybody who's, who will already, there are so many, there are people who go to museums and gallery openings by themselves, but if you want to reach out to that other group, we just have to make it easier to understand. And that's why I think yeah, art is just too beautiful medium not to be accessible for everybody. Let's open the online doors.